Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I promised you guys in one of my vlogs that I would be doing a full face on testing and trying e.l.f. makeup. So, I made a huge order, um, or like a full face order. I made that order pro before we moved and before everything kicked off. So, I made it probably about like four months ago, maybe. I'm going to be using my hydrolonic acid from The Ordinary and on top of that I'm going to use kind of like a pea-sized amount of the Dermalogica Hydro Blur Primer but with foundation because I feel like that's the one that everyone wants to know about. I feel like foundations are so many now and they're so expensive that um, yeah. It's always nice to know if we can get like a drugstore high street foundation for cheap, um, especially kind of if you are my kind of my kind of skin tone um, and darker. Got the flawless finish foundation SPF 15 um, in the shade caramel. Um, I think I just I think I just took a guess with the foundations and the shades, so um, we're really going to find out together if this was the right shade. Um, but this is the packaging, so what it looks like. And I'm just going to rip all these open. I should have brought scissors with me. Ugh. Um, can't be bothered to go downstairs right now. Hmm. A little warm there, Kin. So I'm going to apply this with my beauty blender. Hmm, yes, it's a little warm. <sighs> well, I should have got two shades. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are just going to go with this. Um, we're going to go with it and we're going to hopefully save this <laughs> with a really bright concealer because if I mix my ordinary if I mix a, like a lighter shade foundation guys you guys are not going to be really able to tell um, how this foundation works and to be fair looking in the mirror I'm not looking there I'm looking in my own mirror I do actually own foundations that probably make my skin look kind of like as warm as this so I'm just gonna go with it and to be honest actually the actual finish of the foundation is like quite nice quite like a satin finish liquid foundation but it um, has like a gel like consistency to it I feel okay, let's quickly find a concealer I know I got a concealer I'm hoping it's gonna lift this foundation a little um, so the concealer I got was the HD oh HD lifting concealer um, and this is in the shade medium it's actually not that bright let's use the That was really easy to blend, um, that concealer. Um, I did get a powder, I got the e.l.f. Perfect Finish Powder in Clear to set underneath. As I did get a brow pencil, I got the e.l.f. Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. I picked this one because it has like the spoolie, so, um, and I love a spoolie. Oh, this is quite a good spoolie. I had my brows actually um, waxed and tinted from Benefit. Um, and they removed the hair at the top, which I'm like, I'm not used to. I never really do that, but I don't actually mind them too much. Just fill in like this area here. This colour's not bad actually. It's a little bit darker than what I'm currently using which is the NYX brow pencil but actually it's a good one if you've got naturally dark hair brows are on they look a little harsh right now but let's see how they are towards the end um okay so I'm gonna go on to uh, I'm gonna go on to eyes now so the fun part I am gonna use 
um, just a little bit of that concealer, the e.l.f. concealer again on my eyelids. The Need It Nude eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like. This is what... Oh! Wow. Okay. Oh my god, there's actually like no glue here. There's absolutely, absolutely no glue or tackiness. Okay, well, they're not damaged, so I'm just going to pop them right back. <laughs> um, I'll try, I hope you can see them here without me like, um, yeah. Use um, this brown here. You see this brown here, um, which is next to the gold. I'm going to take a blending brush. Let's try this side. Hmm, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Pinky, really light pink, pale pink shade. I'm going to just use that on my finger. I'm going to use that before I put on the... liquid eyeshadow. So as it's drying, it's kind of getting quite tacky. So yeah, you do have to work quite quickly with this. I'm glad I put something underneath because when, as soon as you start blending this out, it um, turns almost into like more of a glitter on your lid. So the Molten Liquid Eyeshadow, it's quite cool. Um, only thing, it looks a little bit frosty on the eyelid. Um, I'm not such a fan because I do have quite a bit of texture on my eyelids, but um, I might actually use the Molten Bronze one because this is kind of faded quite Ooh, that looks nice to use a firm blending brush I actually really like this um, I much prefer this try putting a little bit of this like yellow gold just in like the center lid I'm really actually impressed with the, the actual eyeshadow palette as well, I have to say. And it's not as at all like what I remember e.l.f. eyeshadows being, like they were a little chalky from what I remember. Hence Ink Eyeliner, so just um, a pen liquid eyeliner. This is a quick dry formula, instantly enhances the lash line with rich lasting colour. So let's give this a go. It's so quite a thick actual pen, but the nib is quite long and thin. Um, let's give it a go. Maybe it's new, it's not too black. It's a little bit sheer, this one, so I'm just going to do a thin line. A little bit transparent. Um, I would just smudge this out because it isn't like black black. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit sheer. So I would just smudge this out, but I actually don't want to interfere like with the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to leave it as like a winged. The eyeliner is going to be a no from me. As you can see, it's a little bit faded. Um, I am working obviously on top of eyeshadow, but still there's plenty of eyeliners that work perfectly well um, like my Soap and Glory cat eyeliner is from the drugstore it's from Boots and it works just as well so the intense ink liner is gonna have to be a no for me it, it was I mean even on my hand you can see like I've had to really I really was trying to get it going but which one was this that I got I got the volume mascara 
in jet black and I've also got some lashes as well. Um, I got the Lux Lash Kit in Mod Glamour. Um, I was going to use my own lashes but I thought there's no point, I might as well just use e.l.f. ones. Mascara, no mascara. I didn't film my, me putting on the lashes and the, oh my god, they are so bad. Okay, so, problem. The glue that they gave with the lashes is, I don't know if you can see, but the, when I went to open it, the actual whole top lid portion has like come off. So the actual glue is almost like, can't really tell but the actual glue is like gloopy and very stiff whereas um, normal eyelash glue is quite liquid like kind of fl fluidy um, so um, so <laughs> that was a problem applying the lashes and also the actual band which I thought wasn't too bad when I actually took it out the actual band does not want to stick And the actual lashes just look like, like it doesn't even look like I have lashes on, they just look really like plasticky and yeah. So liner, lashes, mascara are all a no for me from e.l.f. Um, at least these ones that I've tried. I'm gonna try and salvage. Wait, I'm gonna move, we're gonna move on. I actually think the foundation, maybe because it's getting, it's actually getting darker, but um, like outside, but I don't think the foundation's that bad like once the concealer and um, I've gone over with some more of the powder again just to like brighten it up a little bit so yeah okay let's move on to cheeks so I basically bought the little duo this is in Fiji and it's the bronzer and blusher duo but I'm hoping I can use the bronzer just to like um, add a little bit of definition as well to my cheeks. Um, I'm just gonna take the bronzer first and we're gonna just see. This is one of the e.l.f. products that I actually first purchased many years ago and I actually really liked it and I think I stopped using it because again um, the actual product fell out of the pan before it it was even done with it and it broke so it's not a bad bronzer shade but this is actually not a bad shade at all it's not too warm um, and too kind of orange which is a lot of bronzers that are cheap tend to give off very like red orange kind of tone um, I'm just gonna just use the bronzer just to like sculpt a little bit the blush as well which is kind of reminds me a little bit of like a matte version of NARS's um, orgasm that's really pretty the color payoff is wow and this making up for the eye situation which I was actually really enjoying the eye products until we got in like into liner and lashes I put the footage onto the computer and I'm just, like editing I won't know just how this makeup really looks because how it looks to me in person and how it looks on camera can be a little bit different okay let's do lips Actually, no, I did get a highlighter. I'm going to use the liquid highlighter. I got it in the shade Original. Oh, okay, so I hate when products do that. So you can see it's separated, but it is really pretty. I have just like, like it's really, really stunning. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my cheekbones. And then just on my nose a little literally on the high points of my face lips so I actually got this I actually got the 
lip el elf lip liner with the it's got like a lip brush on one side and a lip liner on the other and I got the shade dark brown so I'm going to just line my lips with that and I'm just going to use the actual brush side just to feather in that colour towards my actual lips. I also like to blend out the actual lip liner on my lip line because just it's a little bit more flattering than it being so harsh. Lipstick as well in Blushing Brown, just one of their like classic e.l.f. lipsticks. It looks quite dark actually, I'm not sure. sweet <laughs> um, yeah so I wasn't expecting that I quite like it I did get a gloss as well in um, a lip lacquer in natural but I think this is going to be way too pale but it might help lift this color a little bit in the center I'm just going to use the lip brush to blend I really like this. What do you guys think? I do. I like it. Um, that lip combo really just worked out for me. Um, so yeah guys, this is the finished e.l.f. look. Um, I have to say I am impressed with pretty much everything except this damn eyelash that keeps popping off. Um, except, like I said, liner, lashes, and glue. Here we go now. I am going to literally rip these eyelashes off right now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.